We got a brand new month, so what's new in the stars for us? We have Venus, the planet of love, changing signs. And oh! I, you know, Venus is one of, it's my favorite planet because it bestows, it's called the lesser benefic, and it bestows good things wherever it goes. And I think we could use a little good news right about now. So. You got that right. Let's give us some. Yes. So for Libra, the sign that we're in, Venus going into Virgo means love behind the scenes means you have to keep your love hidden. Sometimes um, if your love is just fine, then it means you have to give a little more than you get. It's more about what your partner needs rather than what you need. You're but, not talking about affairs here, are you? Yeah, well, I... Nom, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. It could be, and and don't think you're not going to get caught. So okay. that's my only um, statement for that. But Andrew, yeah, that's usually what careful. that brings. Yeah, don't get caught. Um, for Scorpios, Venus in the 11th house means you achieve a long-standing hope, wish, goal, or objective through the help of your female friends rather than your male friends. And usually their light-eyed or clear-eyed friends are the ones that will help you out, whether you're male or female, the best. Um, for Sagittarians, Venus and Virgo is at the top of their chart. They get the report card about how they have done professionally. The professional report card is what is due for Sagittarians. And the biggest thing for them to do is pay attention to detail. If they take care of the details, the rest will take care of itself. For Capricorns, Venus is in the ninth house of the law. Important matters. Legal matters go well. Educational matters go well. Important matters at a distance. Contracts, negotiations, agreements, all of that is very favorable for the Capricorn. For Aquarius, the money gods smile on them. Venus is in their eighth house of other people's resources flowing their way. So it's sort of, um, you benefit not from your earned income, but either the income of the people around you, the income of the people you are partnered with, or unearned income falls your way. So I'd buy a lottery ticket if I was an Aquarian. For a Pisces in their seventh house of partners, and they, Pisces have had a very rough time the last month or so. Um, they've kind of been barraged. Um, and Venus in Virgo in their seventh house, number one, slows their enemies down a bit. It pours oil on rough waters, which is something I bet Mitt Romney is really happy to hear, being mm. a Pisces. So things smooth out professionally for them. For Aries, it's in their sixth house of work and responsibilities. And, and Aries just need to attend to the day-to-day -day minutia of their job. There's nothing glorious about it. There's nothing glamorous about it. It is hard work will pay off. And some obstacle that had been in the Aries way gets out of the Aries way so their career can progress. For Tauruses, they want to have fun. This is a great four weeks for Taurus because it means good time with children, good time with love affairs, good time with creativity, that they feel the love where they have had a difficult time the last 90 days or so. That all comes to an end for them. And for Taurus, really, it's happy days are here again, which is something... It's Christmas uh, time. Yeah, that too. But um, there are other things that are going on that make the Taurus feel the love, not just the Christmas wish. Um, for Geminis, it's in their fourth house of home and foundations. And Geminis need to straighten stuff out at home. They need to clear things up at home. They need to clear things out at home. Their attention is really focused much closer to home rather than the external world. For Cancers, it's in their third house of day-to-day -day living. The pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up to near warp speed where they've got places to go, people to see, things to do, contracts, negotiations. The thing for Cancer is no dawdling because the more they get done, the more room they'll have to acquire more things, to do more things. So it's a very, um, it's a very busy, busy time for Cancers. For Leo, it's about the money. It's about making more money and all their efforts over the last... 90 to 180 days pay off over the next four weeks or so financially for them. It's an excellent time for them to increase the amount of money they make. It's a good time for them to find find a way to maximize a resource so the money flows their way. It's a very, very good time for them financially, and they Ooh. get to to refill their coffers. I like the sound of that. I got my wallet open right now. I let it let the money go yeah, on here. me. Exactly. Um, for Virgo, Venus and Virgo means it's time for them to find the love. Virgos are, have had a difficult time with love. Um, they had a really hard time from November through June. Um, and they're like the munchkins going, is it safe to come out now after the Wicked Witch is dead? So for Virgo everywhere, open your heart because if you don't have love, it will find its way in. And if you open your heart, the love you have is equal to the love you give. Ah, where have I heard that before? I don't know. Some famous guy said that. So that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Well, thank you, my dear. Have a wonderful week. Thank you. Always a pleasure.